Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Crystal Islands. Is it Islands or Island? Islands. Yes, good. Where I'm... Oh. Huh. I always thought those automatically went to me when I did that. Let's see if this is the end of the level. I have a hunch. Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. Interesting. Welcome to the world, Lloyd. Oh, don't worry, I, we can get you pants. Plenty of the other dragons were closed, just not Spyro. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Wait, what? I was going to say, I see. That guy left, so the trick is just going forever now. Who's laughing now? And who are you? Did you tell the great Zamboni? That charlatan has been stealing my tricks again. Cross with me. Hey, don't look at me, man. He was doing that earlier. Oh no, that's right. The last guy was like Marvalo or something. Hang on, I thought you were dead. Alright, how do I get over to that Bentley area? Piss. Enough for that. I can make that though, and that might point me in the right direction for it. Maybe. But I think I'll look over here in this one first. Wait. Not here. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to have, you know brace myself in case it was a skateboard thing. Okay. Oh. Oh boy, this is happening. Oh boy. Moving so quickly in so many gems that even Sparks is having a hard time keeping up. Not bad, little buddy. Whack-a-mole. Okay, that's an interesting one. Happy birthday, Eloise. Gazuntight. I mean, she really should cover her mouth, but she was less than a second old, so I'm not going to hold that against her. <laughs> Well, that's really convenient. Oh, boy. Who polished this thing so much? I like that there even is an animation of Spyro sliding around on his belly. Oh. Excellent. Oh, okay, you can't jump. I was wondering if I could just skip to the end by gliding, but no.
That was fun. I liked that. Wait. Let me just... Okay. I had a feeling. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, there. Yes, that's right. Would you look at that? It's time for to meet with our friend Bentley. Welcome, most esteemed dragon, Bentley. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Rendini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. That's a word I've heard in D&D, &D, but I can't quite remember what it stands for, what it means. Just a moment. Prestidigitation is an unnecessarily formal uh, word that just means magic tricks performed as entertainment. The, uh... The D&D &D version is a, uh, a spell, a minor magical trick that novice spellcasters use for practice. You create one of the following magical effects within range. You create an instantaneous, harmless sensory effect such as a shower of sparks, a puff of wind, faint musical notes, or an odd odor. You instantaneously light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. Let's see. Clean or soil an object no cute larger than one cubic foot. Chill, warm, or flavor up to one foot of non-living material for one hour. <laughs> Make a color, a small mark, or a symbol appear in an object or surface for one hour. Create a non-magical trinket or illusionary image that can fit in your hand that lasts until the end of your next turn. And uh, if you cast the spell multiple times, you can have up to three of its non-instantaneous effects active at a time. And you can dismiss such an action effect as an action. There you go. I found that very delightful. Actually, I like the idea that Sparks wanted to come along, too. Oh, okay, I see. And that's one. How am I doing on that far front? Not bad. Really? Okay, okay. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. All they need is a good bonker on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the yeti to help. Well, I hope the moles calm down soon. I've created a fantastic new trick I want to show them. All right, all right. Huh, just notice there's actually depth to the uh, colors in the, in the club. Like it's semi-transparent on the outside. I like that. The moles are still a little overexcited, and I can't start my next performance until they calm down. Are you sure you can't help? All right. Be ash the moles, yes. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful. My friends are trying to burrow after them. Oh. Okay. Use your club to bash the moles. Don't bash the gnomes. Oh, this is going to suck. Ah. Well, that did not do it. See, they've got themselves all worked up into a tizzy. You'll have to try again. I guess kind of felt like I was being an asshole, but okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful. My friends are trying to burrow after them. Why is there a time limit? Ah, oh, damn it, there is such a thing as too close, and that's going to be a pain. Well, that 
did not do it. No. Well, I hope the yeah, that's no good. Don't like that. I feel for a great big fucking club, this thing is awfully specific in where exactly the targeting zone is. Hey Bentley, you want my advice? Swing it from left to right! Alright, I'm easy. Right to left will work too. A lot better than whatever you're doing. Who earns? Oh, I did have a comment about one of Spyro's friends there. I thought this was very interesting. Uh, shout out to Miracle Tiger, who informed me about, uh... Well, in the original games, the Agent 9 sections were different in that they were awful with... Just a moment. I, uh... Needed to reset my computer while I was setting up today, and apparently, the second time, I forgot to, uh... Set myself to appear offline on Steam. My bad. But, uh, yes. Miracle Tiger on the subject of Agent 9. Uh, Agent 9's parts were awful, with five A's to em for emphasis because he controlled the same as Spyro, yet you had to aim, and it didn't work without zooming in with Triangle, which kept you stuck in place. Turning him into a twin-stick shooter was amazingly well thought out, and it's great! Some of my most fun moments are with this guy in the Reignited Trilogy. I like that. Just, you know, redeem the guy whose control scheme was lousy the first time around. Oh! Huh. Welcome to the world, Grace. Yeah, you'll get there eventually. Oh, I ran out of fly. Okay. Yes, there is ground down there, but you know, I wanted to check first. Since there's usually... Oh, no, no gems in here. Oh, je oh okay, I've been here before. Sure. Fly to the hidden egg. Uh oh. Wait, it's just going always now. Hey, I finally seem to have gotten the hang of this. Those crystals have stayed up for ages. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a reflection of the torch. It's like the fuck is that? And off you go. Wow, that's just right there, huh? <laughs> Happy birthday, Manny! I like your enthusiasm. I'm not entirely clear why it manifests in the manner of an excited dog, but, you know, I like your enthusiasm. Thank you, Zoe. Hmm. Let's just fly back up there then. Ooh, that was close. I'm working on a new trick now, but I've left the whirlwind going in case you need to use it. Thank you, Federico. Uh, Frederico, sorry. I am curious about the stars, I must admit.
Oh, there's just a fucking plane there. In fact, I remember that plane. That was one of the things I had to destroy in one of the, uh, the, the, the speedway levels. Or was it one of the flight levels in the first game? Except I'm pretty sure it wasn't being driven by a uh, egg thief in the first game. Okay, that's kind of funny. One gem. Oh no! I missed! How deeply embarrassing. And why are you back? Oh. Oh! Oh, that's very interesting. I remember that now. That one fell in the in the water, and I guess I forgot to get it afterwards. If you don't get the gem, they respawn. Huh. Wait. If I go under one of these... No, the sparkles don't push me down. Thought it might be like they were using something like the uh, the whirlwinds to uh, levitate these things, and I wonder if that meant it would push me down if I went underneath, or you know, failing that, squish me against the top. Is it with Bentley getting the lousy levels? Oh, okay, what's going on over here? Oh, hey, there's that key I need. Perfect! Good. No, it isn't the only way off the island. I remember this. It was on that island right there in the bottom center. I made a check. Uh, I made sure to check this time. Hmm. No gems or anything. It doesn't look like... I mean, it looks like I've been over there, so... You know, this very, very specifically reminds me of the rocks you put at the bottom of a fish tank. I guess some of them just respawn anyway. No, I don't think I can go back that way. Oh, no, 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 there's a staircase. I didn't think that was going to be close enough, to be honest. I thought there was a very good chance I was just going to fall. So it should be right in front of me, but I don't see it, huh? Oh! Okay, I guess it was just a bad angle on the island, then. Uh, 
That was weird. Looks like one of the gems evaporated. Okay, so we got the whack-a-mole egg, an egg I haven't worked out yet, and... Why am I... Why is my controller not responding now? What is this? Sorry about that. Oh, it doesn't really matter because the timer is gone, doesn't it? I will, uh... See you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Burning Dog. When we continue scouring this area for uh, that last egg, and we probably go and say hello to uh, the moles again, too, while we're at it. Acrobatabar! No, 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 no. Acrobatabar! No, 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 it isn't right. I just hold on a minute, I'll get it. Later.